How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Cyberpunk 2077 video. Now, I was lucky enough to get my hands on one of the collector's editions that came out. If you haven't heard by now, if you pre-ordered the game through Best Buy, they messed up sending out packages way earlier than they were supposed to. What happened was in their computer system, they thought that they were supposed to send it out with the original release date in November, so they sent out the packages that day, so people started getting them early, so that's how I was able to get my hands on this collector's edition. So I figured I would do a bit of an unboxing for you guys. Now I apologize because I am not an unboxing channel so my lighting is not ideal here. I tried playing around with the lighting for like 15 minutes and it was either too dark or too bright. So some of the surfaces are going to be a bit shiny and they're going to reflect kind of weird in this video so I apologize there. But let's go over all the different contents of the package together. So as you can see here as soon as you open up the box the first thing that you see is the actual copy of the game. So that's pretty cool. But it also comes with an art book which is pretty neat and it comes with four or little boxes that have little treats as well. And then another nice little detail that they added was that there's this little page as soon as you open up the box and it has all of the developers and people that worked on this game signatures. I think that's really cool. I love when game companies do something like this because these guys worked their butt off for years to make this game for us and I'm just super excited to play it. I know you guys are as well. So I'm really glad that they had this little page to like show off all the creators and stuff. Uh, and then next up we have this art book. It has tons of different screenshots and stuff that we've seen already. It's got a bunch of screenshots that we haven't seen yet. I'm not going to show everything in the book, but it is pretty cool. And another thing that I thought that was kind of weird was that there was already fingerprints on the back of the book. So whoever put this little package together must have had like greasy hands or something because I made sure to wash my hands before I started this video so that I wouldn't get greasy fingerprints everywhere. And I even used hand sanitizer to dry my hands out so I you know, wouldn't have greasy hands. So that was kind of weird that there was already fingerprints on it, but oh well, it's not the end of the world. And then after that, we have this little sealed booklet from the NCPD. It's supposed to be this little like detective case. And then when you take it out of the packaging, it's just, you know, this little booklet. It's got some advertisements from the game and stuff. Not too much is in it. It's kind of like an overview of different sections of the map and stuff. It's pretty neat. But if you guys have already followed up on the lore up to this point, I mean, you probably know most of the stuff that's in this booklet. But it is a nice little extra detail that they added as well. So next up is a steel case. If for some reason you don't want to use the original box and you want to, I guess, have a cooler looking box or if you want a more protective barrier for your discs, you have this option. So you have two boxes for your game and that's pretty cool. I've only ever owned one other steel box and it was for Gears of War 4. So I'm glad that I've added this to my collection. I think it's pretty neat. So getting into those little tiny boxes, the first box comes with some little extra stickers for you if you're into stickers. And then the second box comes with some badges if you, you know, uh, if you want to put badges on stuff, maybe put it on a shirt or maybe you just want to collect badges. Some of those are pretty neat. I didn't open up the little package in this video though. And then the next box comes with some little pins. Like if you're into collecting pins or if you want to put them on your shirt or something, I think both the pins are pretty cool. I'll probably put them up on my nerd shelf. And 
And then the next box is my favorite. It comes with this little keychain, and I'm not really one for ever collecting keychains, but I actually really like this one. It comes with a model of one of the cars that is in the game. You know, that infamous car that you've seen like a million times now in the trailers and stuff. And it's actually got some weight to it. It's pretty hefty. I mean, it's like designed like it's going to be able to take a beating, which I mean, it should be able to since it's a keychain. But that one was easily my favorite out of all the little boxes. And then next up is the statue. It comes with a bunch of foam. And this is one of the heavier pieces that's in the box. Now it's actually made out of like a hard plastic slash rubber material. And some of the pieces on it are a bit flimsy, especially on the motorcycle. Like some of the pedals and stuff are a little bit flimsy. So if you ever like drop this thing or if it fell off a shelf or something, odds are it is probably going to break. It's not the sturdiest. So be extra careful with it if you do get this. But I do like it. It's really, really detailed. I'm really impressed with the amount of detail tail that's actually on this little statue. I've never had a collector's edition before for any other game, so this is my first sort of like collector's edition statue or model or whatever, and I'm really impressed with it. I think it turned out really well, and it's going to go right up on my nerd shelf behind me when I do my live streams. I'm going to put it right up at the top, and I think it's really cool, and if you guys are a fan of the game, I think you guys are really going to love this little statue as well. And then as you can see, I've put it up on my shelf. If you guys watch my live streams and stuff, you guys have probably seen my shelf like a million times already, but right up there at the top, right beside my Star Wars blaster and my Mass Effect blaster, and right beside my World of Cyberpunk book, and then the final thing to close out the video is the box itself. It comes with some postcards and a map of the city. It also comes with this little guidebook, like one of the traditional books that you would see when you played like an old PlayStation game or something. A lot of games don't really make these little guidebooks anymore really have these anymore and I think this is really neat. I kind of missed having a guidebook in my game so I'm glad that they included this. It's got some decent bits of information in it. And then next up we have some postcards that only comes with three of them. These are basically screenshots that we've already seen a million times at this point. And then the back of them is just completely yellow. If for some reason you wanted to actually fill it out and send it to somebody, you could probably do so because, I mean, it's a postcard. So I think these are pretty neat and I'm glad that they included these in there. I think they're pretty cool. And then next up is the world map, the map of Night City. It lists the entire map. It shows all the different roads and all the major points in the city. Obviously, if you've been following this game for a while now, you've already seen what the map looks like. But if you haven't, this is what it looks like. I'm probably going to hang this up on my wall and turn it into a poster. Uh, maybe get it framed so that it's not as wrinkly. I love when RPGs include world maps. I think that's really cool. I have one for Skyrim too and Grand Theft Auto. 
And then if you didn't know, the physical copy comes with two discs because that's how big the game is. You're going to have to install both discs. And then it also comes with some stickers if you guys are into stickers or whatever. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. I'm going to start installing the games now. That way I can play it all the way up until the game's release. I will have that out as soon as we are allowed to post those. I'm not allowed to stream the game or post any gameplay or anything until the game is actually released. Otherwise, it'd get like a copyright strike. And I am completely against the idea of spoilers. I hate when people spoil things, so you will not be getting any spoilers for the game coming from me. But yeah, stay tuned for Wednesday where I have a full review of the game. I have a ton of cyberpunk videos planned for you guys, and I will be working on those over the next couple days. So if you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. That way you guys don't miss out on anything for cyberpunk 2077. And that is going to do it for this video, guys. And I will talk to you all next time.